Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided to do a pen pal video, um, but instead of an incoming mail video, it's an outcoming mail video. So this is all the stuff that I have made that I am ready to post out and it's all ready to go and I'm quite excited. I, qu I quite like the variety I've got here. So I was just going to go through, show you some examples, um, give you some ideas, hopefully for your own pen paling, maybe some inspiration. Um, but yeah, that is my idea for today. Um, so let's get started. So the first one I'm going to show you today is this uh, Gudetama one. Um, so the background is a bunch of stars. However, um, I had bought um, some star stickers. So this is actually a star sticker sheet with all the star stickers gone. And it was so pretty. I was like, I could definitely use that as a background. So I use that as a background, memo notes on top to write the addresses there and there. So here we have the um, Happy Mail itself. It's a little envelope and you open it up. So I've got a little envelope here. There we go. It's just a little envelope that I actually made from a beer label um, of my partner's beer. And inside, I have a bunch of really cute little stickers, including some Gudetama stickers and just a bunch of cute things in there. I've also got the um, back of the um, sticker. So I bought some Gudetama stickers. This is the back of the packaging and this is the front. So that I decided to include that. I also have, ah, this is a great idea for pen pal extras. Now I've called them decorative stick strips. They are just stuck to a piece of card, but they are actually strips of card and paper with um, double-sided sticky tape on the back. So if you don't have a specific washi tape you can send or you found some really cool paper and you don't know what to do with it but you don't want it to go to waste, um, that is what I've used these decorative strips for. You will see this in a few of these pump pals. So that's a good idea for a cheaper but also still on the theme um, pen pal bit. Got a little quote here which I actually really like. So I've got a little coat there. I also have, oops, this cute little Gudetama drawing that I drew, as well as this one as little extras. So those are things I have included in this one. I have also got, I'm actually really proud of this. I made a Gudetama book. Um, it is an actual book, little notebook. I drew on it and yeah, so that's a little extra I've included. I've also included some memo notes. Um, this includes both ones that I've made, like this one here, and some that I just thought went with the theme, including the Gudetama memo note on the top. So that is my little Gudetama pen pal all ready to go. Oh, and this is just the letter, um, but I haven't written it yet, so. So that one's that one. Oh, this one's coming undone. Okay, so this is a piglet um, pen pal that I've decided to do. I'm gonna have to stick that down, otherwise it'll annoy me. Um, so in the UK, in M&S, uh, which is a food store, uh, they do clothes too, but um, they have these sweets called Percy Pigs and they are so yummy, they are delicious. Uh, but the packaging was adorable, so I decided to keep the packaging. We do not get them very often, so it took me a while, I think, between purchases to have enough to do a piglet, um, Percy Pig kind of style. Um, I do that quite a lot, so when I do things like that, I don't record it on camera because I'm collecting things and making them over a really long period of time. So that is my little Percy Pig bit here. You open it up. This is what it looks like inside. And um, very cute little piggies I've got here, which is a 
doing weird things with my arm. Um, little piglet uh, sticker that I've made. In here, I've got a bunch of really cute little piggy um, stickers, which include this one here. Um, and this is some really cute little piggy memo notes here as well. I thought they all went well. I have like the extra bag here. Now inside this one is uh, the rest of the Percy Pig bits. Um, some pink themed bits that I thought would all tie in very well. Um, a coloring sheet and a word search. So it's more, I've just stuck everything all together. But I've actually decorated the inside as well with the little piggies. I just thought it was a really sweet and cute little happy mail and I really liked how it turned out so I wanted to share um, but it also shows you can just do an animal theme it doesn't even have to be a color um, but yeah I really like how this one turned out just and it was all based on a packet of sweets <laughs> but yes that is that one all nicely done the next one um, I actually uh, mentioned in one of my last open pen pal letters me about wanting to do an lol um pen pal theme because i've been collecting some bits over time and they had also sent me additional stickers so i was actually quite excited to be able to finally make the lol pen pal i wanted okay so this is the pen pal booklet itself i think it's super cute i really really like it um, you open it up and there is just so many LOL goodies. I'm very, very happy. So I made this little card uh, with the hollow um, LOL on there. Um, I thought it was super cute. Um, so I made that to go inside. I also have this little um, label that I have, um, which I collected. I have this question sheet that I have made. So I made this question sheet and I tried to use the LOL stickers trying to make it like super cool and this one is the letter that I haven't written yet. Ah, here's what I was telling you. More decorative strips. Um, see, I've done it via colour themes. Um, <laughs> this is actually um, some like glasses I got it at the Tate Modern in one of the booklets and I was like yeah I could totally use it with one of my pen pals why not so this is something I've saved since oh August and they're double-sided but I'm showing the pink side because it's a pink themed letter but yes so that is this side Oh, um, this shiny um, paper, I guess you can call it paper, is another um, beer can label. So I don't actually drink beer myself, but my partner does. And some of the ones he has have like really cool labels. So I keep all the labels off the cans to make some cool stuff with it. Okay, now in here is the extra bag. This is the extra goodie bag. Um, it's got some more LOL stuff. It's got some really cute just cards and things like that. And then I've got a little quote here. So that is my LOL themed letter. I actually think it's really cute. I really like how it turned out. So I'm pretty chuffed with that one. I've got so many, I realize. Maybe I should have done it all in one video, but I've started now. Okay. So next up is my strawberry theme. I love this envelope very, very much. This is actually, as you can probably tell, from my water bottles um, because I like the labels, so I kept them. So this is a strawberry theme with a twist. So I had a strawberry um, pocky a while ago. I kept the packaging as per always because I thought it was cute. And then this is a little cow sticker I made. So pop it open like that to get the bits out. I've got this cute little strawberry themed animal fruit salad that I made. 
a little quote saying how you are the very best. I like weird puns. Okay, so I have a coloring page here. Actually, I've got two. Um, I like in adding coloring pages um, and word searches and things like that. I think they're just kind of cute, um, but yes. Uh, here I have some strawberry, I say strawberry theme. It's fruit th themed washi tape. Um, they were red, they matched, and I put a strawberry sticker there just to kind of tie it in a bit more. And here is the letter. So this is the strawberry um, pocky packaging. I just stuck the letter inside and stuck a sticker on to kind of fit the theme. And then in here is um, the goodies. I've included some more of the strawberry um, water bottle stuff, but I've also included um, a bunch of stickers and things like that. So that is the extras for this one. I really, really like how this one turned out. It's really sweet and simple, and I just love using packaging. So rather than spending a fortune on other stuff, I've I really love, if I see cute packaging, I will use it. Uh, like with the Percy Pig one, or with the stickers with the Gudetama one, or my water bottle and Pocky for this. I just think it's a super creative um, way to, I suppose, upcycle stuff, because you're not having to buy additional bits and pieces to make up for the fact that you don't have enough. So just a really nice handy way to reuse your food packaging. Just save everything because you never know what could be like useful. Okay, next up is this one. So this is a C slash, well it's a C themed um, pen pal. I colored this in all myself. I don't actually want to ruin it. So <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is think I'm going to send it to a UK seller so I can just write the address and stuff there without the massive sticker. Or I might write the address down here and put the name up there. I, I don't know yet, but it's so cute. I really like this envelope because it took me a while to make. Okay, so this is what's inside. So this here is my pen pal letter. Um, this little turtle, as you can see, is nice and shiny. It's the same label that I used in the Aloha one. Uh, the same beer label, but it was a tortoise. So I was like, tortoise, turtle? I don't know, I, I can never remember. But this is my sea themed one for today. You open up and there's Nemo. And this really friendly little shark that I really like. So, open it up. We've got some sea themed washi tape. We've got a cute little mermaid. And here we've got my extras. I used, the, I coloured this in myself as well, trying to fit in with the theme to match the envelope. And inside, I've got some sea pictures. Oh, I'm really proud of this. So, because it's sea themed, I've got Dory and Nemo and My Little Mermaid, another My Little Mermaid, it's hollow as well. So that all lives in there. And then in here, I've got some washi tape. I've got this owl that I made, owl, <laughs> owl. <laughs> this whale that I made. Um, I've got some various memo notes and some memo notes that I've made and these ones are mermaid theme. So yeah, that is what is in this pen pal. I really like it. So I have a lot of pen pals and some people may not like this, but because um, for me, inspiration definitely comes in waves. Uh, it's always come in waves for me. Um, so when I feel inspired or when I see something, I'll make the pen pal letter in advance um some people are like oh you should make it for um you know individual people when you receive the letter i think yes there is a degree of that that i do do but at the same time i'm also fully aware time is of the essence and i could get like five or six pen pals at one time and then i'm like what do i do <laughs> i do not have um enough time i do not i'm not prepared and then I like to send pen pal letters as fast as possible. So for me, it just 
doesn't make a whole lot of sense but yes so a lot of these are prepared in advance usually for specific people in mind but I also I just, it's just less stressful for me I still get to create and feel happy when I want to and I also get to share that with other people so if you decide to do that if you find receiving multiple letters overwhelming sometimes like I do it might help okay so this one is a space theme I love this memo note so not much it's so cute okay so this is my um space theme Theme. I'm trying to show you. Ah, there we go. You can see the hands of gold. I really like this. You open it up. Okay, let's go through. Here I've got a little quote card. Um, it says I need space, like on the front cover. I have my little memo notes that I'm including here, um, which includes my little prints and the lovely memo note that I just showed. I really like this. So, like in uh, with the the sea themed one, these are all space themed. I've got Buzz Lightyear and I've got Cosmo and, and Star Wars because they're all space themes. <laughs> Here, I've got some more decorative strips and a lot of them with stars on it, all shiny and gold, like the hands, like like this hand here. So it all kind of ties in together. And then in here, this by the way, I made from an envelope of a birthday card that we got last year in July. Um, I kept it because I thought it's a pretty color. Maybe I'll do it, do something with it. Ah, so I've got an ET little extra bit along with NASA and some stickers, both I made and otherwise, some more hands. But yeah, those are the extras for this one. Um, I really love space themed ones. The, so for Christmas, we received um, some bottles of wine and they always come in like a box and the box has a blue card sheet wrapped around it to make it look nicer. Anyway, um, this is the blue card that it came with. Um, I kept it because I thought, you know, it might be useful. It was a nice color. Um, I could jazz it up. So all of this is with the blue card. So I didn't even have to pay for the card to make for this one. I just kept it for just in case. And yeah, I, as again, keep packaging. It's super useful and you can create some really cool things. It doesn't have to be the whole packet like with the pocky one but it could be something simple like this um but yeah i really i really like this one but yes packaging is my best friend okay we are on to the last one and it is a as you can try and see a senrio theme um i've got some little twin star stickers i've got tuxedo sam here um, it's actually a predominantly Tuxedo Sam letter, which I'll show you now. Okay, so I bought some Tuxedo Sam stickers. Um, I showed it in a previous video, but this is the back of the packaging of the Tuxedo Sam stickers. And I decided to use this one, the back in particular, because one, he's so cute. But two, you can see all of these um, extra mini pictures of him and I thought it was adorable put some stickers on there so again keep your packaging especially if it's cute so this one's a bit different layout wise so it opens up like this like so okay so in here I actually have some of the tuxedo stand stickers and some other Sanrio stickers in here because one it goes with the theme two they're adorable I just got some cute washi tape that kind of fit in with the theme. It was hard because I don't actually have any Tuxedo Sam, a lot, well, a whole lot of Sanrio's washi. This is a cute little label that I have um, from my Hello Kitty. I adore um, cows. Um, so Hello Kitty and a cow, you know, had to 
buy it. Like, was it last year? Year of the cow? Either way. And on the back, I've got some Hello Kitty um, mama notes stuck on the back. So that's all there. Um, I've got some like note paper. I've got whoop, this um, little twin star um, artwork that I made that I'm including in this one as well as doo -doo 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 -doo. this here is some stencils that I have okay so I have some stencils I colored in the stencils you might have seen some of these on my Instagram but I thought they were really cute so I included them because they fit in with the color theme and then I also have a little card because she hasn't been feeling particularly well and then some really cute um, gold foiled and silver foiled uh, writing paper so that is what I've got in this pen pal I think it's so cute I, I really think it's cute I really like it um, I'm pretty chuffed with it to be honest so yeah I'm really chuffed with these pen pals two of them uh, this one and the Percy Pig one, um, I'm actually about to write the letters for, so the reason why there was more, um, oops, more um, Happy Mail in this little Happy Mail showing is because, honestly, I wasn't planning to show this one or the Percy Pig one, I've taken pictures for Instagram, but uh, yeah, that is all of my um, ready to go outgoing cute little mail I'm so so happy I think personally I think there's a quite nice variety there's different themes and um, I know p different people like different things so that's why I try to show a variety of ideas you don't have to do like vintage all the time or a color one all the time or even a collage or you know the things that are really popular they're really popular because they're beautiful styles and everybody can enjoy them but it's also nice I think to have um, varying themes personally I just I, I get inspired by like right strawberries and I fixate on strawberries so I'll collect strawberry stuff things like that so yeah that is all of my outgoing pen pal mail for uh, this video I really hope this gave you some inspiration hopefully gave you some ideas of your own but yeah that is it for this video and I hope you all had a wonderful week I'd like to see you all in the future